Hey, what's going on? It's Brandon here. And in today's video, what I wanted to do is to cover like all things related to a thumbnail or an image that you have maybe selected to go live with over in Facebook. So let's jump over into the computer so I can show you how you can fix this for yourself. So I'm inside a live pigeon. And one thing that I wanted to point out is when you upload your video files to us, we'll choose an image or a thumbnail automatically. And in fact, if you look here, these are not the images that are going to be used inside of your posts. Just to give you a heads up, this is an internal only on live pigeon side to let you know which one of these is, is which based off of the video that you've uploaded, right? But let's say I wanted to actually click on this image here, it would then take us over to Facebook and show us the post. So here it is. And let's say I wanted to change this image. Now before I was able to just click this pencil icon and it would open up and it would give me the ability to change it. But Facebook is always changing things. And so I want to show you how I can access that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click the home button here up at the top above the stream setup here. This will then show me all the posts that I plan on going live with. And I have that one that's going to be going live at 10 a.m. So I can actually click the three dot here and click edit post. And now this is going to give us the ability to change that thumbnail. So let's say I, I scroll down here on the left side and I'm going to click select an image. And then from here, I can actually click on, I actually have one here that's just called temporary thumbnail, right? So I can go ahead and click open and you can see right there that it updates it. And now if I click update post and click close, now if I come back here to live pigeon and if I click on this, this image again, it'll open up that page that it was live on. And now if I scroll down, just like that, I've updated this thumbnail. Now, let's say you already have a white image here and you don't know it, but you can actually, <laughs> because it's white, you're not gonna be able to see that, that pencil icon. But I just wanted to show you that if you click on this, and again, I'm gonna click on home, and now see how, how it updated here. I could click the three dots, edit post again, scroll down, and maybe this time I'm going to choose a different one that I want to go live with. So, and now that I've updated the new thumbnail, I can go ahead and click update post and click close. And maybe I can go back to home this way and then click on view post. There we go. That's probably a more efficient way of, of, taking you to the actual post. And so that is how you can edit your thumbnail inside of Facebook. Now, what I also wanted to point out is we've had a lot of customers who will just delete their posts and restart. Um, but this will actually save you a bunch of time if you know how to update your thumbnail. There you go, you guys. That is it for this video. Again, I'm going to come back here to Live Pigeon just to show you. We have our email, our phone number, and a chat. Uh, option as well on almost every single page of our website. We want to make sure that you feel comfortable and confident to reach out to us if you come across anything. We are not your typical customer support where you're going to call and get a phone tree and all these things like you call us, we're going to answer. If As long as it's inside of our business hours, we're going to do the best that we can to best serve you. And the thing is, this video is all about how to update and how to basically create a better looking thumbnail image so that when you go live with your content, you're putting your best foot forward. You might be uh, creating an engaging picture, something that causes curiosity that makes people want to tune in to what you're doing. And again, that's going to be up to you on your strategies of how you want to post your content. But inside this video, that is how to change your thumbnail. Again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, we're here for you. And again, my name is Brandon. And until next time.